Hello on the quick live. Um, I did a workshop on the weekend about reducing toxins and reducing stress. And while I was reading up on my notes um, before the class, I was reading about um, the dairy industry and how they used to use iodine. Oh, sorry. Something happened to my camera. Um, they used to use iodine to, um, to wash and sterilize the teats on the cattle. And now uh, they, they actually made a decision to change to bromine, which is highly toxic, mutagenic, carcinogenic. So this is what they're cleaning the animals with before they, um, they take the milk. Um, but one of the one of the things that I was reading about bromine is that it um, it acts like a hormone and actually can disrupt lactation. So there's a lot of women now struggling with fertility issues and hormone yeah, imbalance, yeah. Um, and particularly really struggling with that. You know, feeding the new baby like you've got a lot going on, and um, and it makes me really sad when people find that they can't breastfeed and they really want to and. There's so many, we're surrounded by hormone disrupting chemicals and I just don't think we're really understanding the impact, but there's a huge impact. And, um, and so we really need to start looking at a low tox lifestyle. You know, it's not all hopeless and helpless, but we do need to empower ourselves and understand what we're putting on our bodies and in our bodies. And, um, so, you know, that's why I use essential oils for just about everything. Um, but you know, like finding finding the the healthier diet the healthier option and finding the more natural way to address whatever it is that you're facing will have less of a toxic impact on your body obviously so it's really just about and unfortunately we do have to educate and advocate for ourselves because you know this is government regulation um changing iodine to bromine you know and things like that so this is not, there's, there's not, um, the government regulations aren't looking out for you and protecting you, unfortunately. And another really big one when we're talking about hormone imbalance, or a couple of big ones, phthalates are huge and they're in everything with uh, synthetic fragrance pretty much. So go through your home and look at your, your soaps and shampoos, your toothpaste, your cleaning products. They all um, contain hormone disruptors. Uh, again, why I use a natural option, the essential oils. Um, but another one is, um, I've just lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's, these are really, it's a big deal. It's a big deal because we expect the government is regulating this stuff and it's not. And the other one that I was going to mention is sanitary items because what you buy on the shelf in the supermarket has dioxins in it. They're not sterile, so they can have bacteria in them. Um, but dioxins are linked with endometriosis and hormone disruption and things like that. And they last in your body and in the environment pretty much forever. They're very, very toxic. So I don't want to be all doom and gloom. I'm just saying that we need to empower and, and ourselves and advocate for ourselves and really understand what we're doing and make those more natural choices. And they are out there. And that's part of why I love what I do, because I can help you find those natural options and help you learn about them and empower yourself and your family. So hope everyone has a beautiful night. And um, yes, if you'd like more information about any of that, uh, if you are struggling with something, please, please just ask and I will find you the guru that you need, uh, whatever that might be. So please get in touch. All right. Take care. Bye.